Hi everybody and welcome to stampageyourself.com. My name's Connie. Thank you for stopping by. I've got another gorgeous tutorial today. This tutorial is shaker cards. Baby shaker cards. Baby shower shaker cards I should say. Oop, I'm going out of focus. I'm just going to bring my card. There we go. Back into focus. Now I've made these shaker cards for a friend of mine who's having a baby obviously and she's having a baby shower and I wanted to do I'll bring that up close so that you can see it this sweet little um, shaker card for a baby shower I didn't want it to be too big and I wanted it to be just compact so I've made the sizes up and cut the squares and I'll give you all those dimensions shortly and on the back it's nice and clean so you can actually just put an insert in there with all the instructions or the information that you need for your baby shower this is using the sweet sugar plum which is one of the new colors designer series paper this one is using the silver out of the neutrals designer series paper and you can see it's got a bit of a shimmer on it it's really hard when you've got the actual window sheet in there but these are really cute. Now, I'll give you all the instructions to do these. Um, what I did use though, as a stamp, I used this one. This isn't a stamping up stamp. This is a stamp that I've had for a very, very long time. And she's it's just the cutest little stamp um, that I used as a dress per se. Obviously, it's a little dress. Sorry, I'm all fumbly with my words today. Um, it's a little dress. Now I am just looking for the, oh here we go, um, I haven't got one, it's a little dress that I've hand cut, I hand cut them all out, I stamped it and I hand cut them all out and then what I did use was our little, um, let me see if I've got our framelits, yes, 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 I used um, the baby's first framelits to cut out a little coat hanger. There we go, a little coat hanger. And I've also used um, the baby framelits to cut out the little duck. There's a little duck in here too somewhere. Here he is, the little duck. So I'm going to actually be fair and use a um, design using our little duck out of our stamp set that we have got. And it is called Something for Baby. It's got all of the this oh, too much there we go let me back out a bit there we go um this is the little duck that we're going to be using this is the coat hanger that i did use for um my little dress and what i did was i don't know if i haven't got one free oh yep i've got one here that i'm still putting together so basically i stamped the little dress i don't know if you can see that very well and of course i put glitter on on the little let me see if I can get it into shape. There we go. So that's what it looks like. <laughs> I have said this before. I'm a stamper, not a filmer. Okay, let me. <laughs> okay, I think you get the gist anyway. It's a beautiful little dress. Isn't it cute? And then what I did is I cut out, I stamped and cut um, our little coat hanger that is in the, in the set. And then I cut it out using our, um, using our little um, die. It takes me forever to get warmed up to filming, I must say. Um, and I then trimmed the back of the little coat hanger and stuck it on the back of the dress and then popped it in there. And of course, I'm still doing a few more for my baby shower friend. And um, these are the last ones that I'm doing because I've almost finished them all. And basically, I, I've then popped it in and made a shaker card out of it. So you can see and, and put some stamping across there. But what I'll do is I'll go through the instructions with you so that you know how to basically put a this particular shaker card together. It's pretty straightforward once you know how. Um, and I will use our little sweet baby duck that is in the something for baby along with the um, baby's first framelits so you unless you want to sit down and cut out hundreds of little ducks which is fine that's entirely up to you but i did this with this um dress and i can i can assure you it takes a little bit of time to do but you know it's easy okay so i will give you 
the dimensions of what I'm doing and how I've done them and put them together. And I do hope you give a go. And so you won't be able to, I don't think you can get this stamp anywhere because this is a really old one, but it's certainly, um, it's so adorable. It is so cute. I love her. I haven't been able to ever use it. It's been, it's really frustrated me and finally I got to use it, but it's not a stamping up one. So, mm. okay. Now the cards. You are going to need, I use the Whisper White cardstock, of course, the thick one, of course, the extra thick one, I should say. Um, it's going to be eight and a quarter in length and three and a half in width. And we're going to score it at four and one eighth. You would need a back cover, which is a piece of paper like this. Now the back cover is four by three and a quarter because we want that to go behind. You will need a piece of designer series paper in whatever color you choose and it's going to be three, actually it's going to be the same size as your, I think I worked it out best, yes, as, as the cover. Yes, I did. Oh, sorry, I haven't written that down in my notes. I forgot to add that to my notes. So basically it works out this way. You want the designer series paper, because it's easier to square off and cut, to be four inches, four and a quarter. Uh, what's the length? Then? Bear with me just for a second. I don't want to put you off. I want to make sure I give you the right instructions because I had had a little bit of trouble lining up my um, my designer series paper to cut the square in the middle it's driving me insane and of course you don't want to waste all your designer series paper so that's not what you want to do so you're going to want a piece of designer series paper the designer series paper that is three and one two three actually what have I got that? That must be three and a half. Oh, okay. Designer series paper three and a half in width and four and one eighth in length. Basically the same, it's going to be the same, same size as your card. You want to make sure it's the same size as your card because basically this one isn't, so it's not a good example. But basically you want to be able to cut um, the the paper um, put a square in it so you need to be able to do that you know um, on the design series paper and we're going to be using a bigger square to do that so don't go by this this is not an instruction this bit but certainly make sure it's the same length and width as the front of your card that's the best way I can put it because then we're going to put squares in okay so whew. <laughs> Lots of little tidbits I've got to remember. I'm getting better at it though. Um, okay, so that's the designer series. Oh, and a piece of window sheet. Um, your window sheet is three and a half by three and one eighth, as long as it basically covers the back of that window, you should be fine. Just make sure you've got enough room in there to glue it down so that the glue doesn't ooze through onto the other side. So you need a piece of that as well. You can use some stays on ink, depending on what you're doing. If you want to stamp on the window sheet, I use the black stays on ink for my little card where I have stamped here. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up. Oh, I need a piece of white paper under it so you can see it. There you go. Sweet baby. Please work. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway, look, I used um, stays on to stamp on the front of that, and it does look really cute when you stamp on the front. So if you want to do it on the window sheet, just use the stays on. I used black. I did try another color. Didn't like it. Um, stays on black. That's all you need for the window sheet. If you're going to go the window sheet. Uh, if you're going to stamp on the front of the window sheet, that's the best option for that. If you're not going to stamp on front of the window sheet, and we're going to do the little ducky today, um, what I've done is just used, I have used strawberry slush 
I think. Yes, strawberry slush. Just to, um, and what I've done is I've popped it on the front of the card with a little ducky. So I don't need to actually stamp on my window sheet. I'm just going to put that in, um, on it. Um, so let me see if make sure I've given you all the instructions. Ba, 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 ba. Yep, I think okay, but don't don't worry too much because I will put this on my blog, of course. Um, the main concept is putting this card together and making sure you do get your measurements, you know, um, and getting them all worked out. Now, you are also going to need your squares. You're going to need. I don't know what number this one is. I don't think it really has it, but you know what? You eyeball it the way that you want. So when you put the square down, you're going to see how big you want the square to be on the front. So just make sure when you are running it through your machine that you don't run it through the both pieces. Pop it on, eyeball it, or whatever it is that you do. When I made these, I actually made quite a few of these for a friend, um, 35 to be honest. <laughs> and what I had done, I have made myself up a template with a small square and the large square and so this is my squ small square state my small square template and this is my large square template so basically what I did is pop that um, when it came to using the large one you're going to be using that on your designer series paper and that is going on the front of your card so if you as long as your designer series paper is the same width as your card and length as the front of your card you're going to get the square right but you won't be doing that if you're only doing one you can eyeball it quite well and then you use the smaller square whichever size you go you can go bigger but I wouldn't go in too big because you want a little bit of a, a trim on the round, like you know, on the outside of it, because it just looks more flattering. Um, then you've got the smaller one, and of course the smaller one is actually your peekaboo window. So you've got your large designer paper like that going on top, and then underneath you've got your window, then you've got your window sheet, and then your your um, design, whatever it is that you're going to do. So. Those are really handy little tips that you can do if you've got to do a lot of them. Just get them to measure, make sure they're all measured up proper before you make the templates. And then once you've made the templates, you really just have to pop that onto the paper and reel it through your uh, big shot. And the same with the other one. And it does save a lot of time if you've got a lot to do. But if you're only doing one, even um, this can be a thank you card, a birthday card, a little birthday shaker card. It can be a baby shower card. It can be a congratulations baby. It can be anything you want it to be. So just feel free to muck around with that idea. And basically, if you if you go with these ideas um, and just use our product, the Stampin' Up! products that I've mentioned, you should be fine getting your uh, measurements right. So all all said and done let's keep our fingers crossed and hope it all works for me okay so basically i've got my designer series uh, sorry i've got my whisper white cardstock i've already done my cutting to save you guys time so the first thing that i want to do is that i want to make sure that i open my card like this and the only reason i do this is just to be careful to be honest because i can i tend to get a little bit carried away in what i do and um mumbling away and chatting away so um you know let me just bring that into focus for you i'll just move that that way all right so when it came to doing this i, I used tombow for the complete construction of this because i like the tombow because it gives you that movability when you're going to stick something down in case you don't quite especially if you haven't got the square quite right you can make a few adjustments and i use the tombow for the window sheet as well i find it it worked perfectly so i would just go with that but if you've got a better glue or you're happy with double-sided tape you can use that too it doesn't really matter i just like a little bit of wiggle when it comes to lining things up because I tend to get them wrong I am challenged when it comes to measurements so um, that being said okay so the first thing we're going to do is take our designer series paper that we've cut the larger square in and we've cut the square and we're just going to run around the edges just with a little bit don't use a lot you don't need a lot you just need a little tiny trim just to hold it down because it will work quite well you don't want it to be saturated, you just want it to grip and stay gripped. So that's fine. 
So of course, I, as I said, I like to leave a little bit of wiggle room and I also make sure I've got on the sides, I've got a little bit of, um, whiteness to come through. Okay, so that's the first step that we've got. So we'll just set that aside to dry, shall we? All right, now, oh, no, sorry, I do apologise. The second thing that I did is I flipped that part over. So I'm going to pop that over now and I'm going to put my window sheet on. Again, I only used a little bit around the edges, as close to the edge as possible, but not too close because when you push it down, it will squeeze through. So just a little bit of a border of the glue, the Tombow. And just pop your window sheet on. Sorry, I hope you can't just see my head or my fingers or my thumbs here because it is hard with the window sheets. Um, always have a wet wipe handy in case you get glue on your fingers so you can wipe your fingers off. Okay, so basically my window sheet's on. Just tap it around to make sure it's down quite well. And again, there we go. So the window sheet is on. Okay, so that's pretty good, huh? Okay, now, as I said, I decided to use the Little Duck because that is our stamping up product and that is what is available. Even though I use the little dress uh, for my friends, the Little Duck one came out kind of cute too. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure which one I like now. <laughs> um, but the other thing I did notice too, when I had put this one together, I love the flowers, but I'm um, not really keen on a lot of busy looking cards. So I, I do try and keep it as clean and simple as possible. But sometimes, you know, you know, working with designer series paper or any papers really, they can look a little bit busy. But one thing I did notice when I was mucking around is um, with the designer series paper, if you turn it over and use the opposite side, I kind of liked that look too, especially in that colour. But then of course, you know, that looks a little bit funny like that, doesn't it? But then you put your little ducky on the inside. And look, it kind of looks all right, doesn't it? I like it. I'm not sure which side I do like. But anyway, <laughs> moving right along. Okay, so the next step is... Um, sorry, I have missed a step. But that's okay. I can show you how to do it. Okay. When it comes to creating this little baby... What you want to do is make sure that your alignment is perfect. So what you're doing is you're getting your square. Let me see if I've got a square. Yep, yeah, here we go. You're getting your square that you're putting your duck on. You're popping it underneath your card. Okay. This is with the window. You can you need to do this before you put the window sheet on. And I do apologise for not for doing it too quickly, but I've missed a step. Um, just pop it under there this is the one that goes on the back of your card and this is the actual backing sheet that uh, extra piece that you've cut so basically you're going to have it like that and what you're going to do is you're going to line up your your dress or your icon look I've found a little dress um, your dress or whatever it is that you want to use let me see if I can find a duck yeah I've got a little duck here when one cuts a duck, one doesn't cut one only. Okay, so basically I'm going to put a dimensional on the back and I'm going to pop him up and stick him there. Okay, this is before you've got the window sheet on. And then you're going to come in and you're going to stamp your little stamp on. I used um, strawberry slush and then I'm just going to stamp again, keeping my card underneath so that he's in alignment with that. Bear with me just for a second. Yeah. So he's in alignment. The duck, I put the duck right on the border of the actual window itself because it does look kind of cute. And once you put a dimensional under it, it pops up. And of course, I use the sweet baby and I use the sugar, um, sorry, strawberry slush, sweet baby um, tag from, what one's that from? Oh, it's from the Itty Bitty Banners. Okay, and of course I've stamped that directly down, getting my measurement correct with the strawberry slush. So that should be before you put your window sheet on. If you do that through the window, then your alignment's going to be right. So then you can put that aside and then you can come back and you can, once you do 
make your the final part of your window sheet you're going to be able to then have make sure that your alignment is actually correct so it should you know it looks kind of cute okay so now that we've done that okay we will bring in uh, no, what I'll do is I'll put the tape around the window sheet. So I have used, I haven't got the new, um, uh, what are they called? They're not the dimensionals, I can't remember what they're called. But they're, um, mm, I can't remember. But anyway, they've got new um, strips of, um, of, what do you call them? Like dimensionals. Anyway, I have here some double-sided tape. And you need, I measured out five and a half in length. And then I chopped my pieces basically in half. And of course, I've applied them onto the window sheet at the back. So five and a half inches, cut those in two and cut them in two again and you'll have enough to cover your window for your, you might have to trim a bit off. Whoop. Just so your sequins don't fall out because you don't want to shake a card to shake all over the place. <laughs> You want it to shape where it should. Okay. And I am really, really super glad that um, Stampin' Up! has got those new, they're the long, the long thin strips. I don't know what they're called because I, I saw them and I thought, oh, good idea. Because they're thin and they're already cut and you don't have to do a lot of cutting because what happens is when you have to cut with your scissors, oh, didn't do that very well, um, with your scissors, they get sticky. And then when you cut... The pieces you end up with it on your scissors so then you've got to run <laughs> I tell you it was a drama so I'm really glad that they have come up with um, a thinner version of double-sided tape that will actually work for its intended purpose so that was instead of using dimensionals you don't want to use lots of dimensionals but if you can get a double-sided tape with you know not too thick well then yeah we're going to take it aren't we all right so i've got that done i hope all these instructions have been clear i do hope i'll get better at it i have to say but you know all good things come to those who wait as they say so i'm just going to now you put your border around of your tape don't worry that's cosmetic no one's going to see that it's just going to be sealed completely so then we bring in our piece that we have already previously put together using the window trick and we're just going to pop that in alignment as about to where we want it to go and then we are going to get our little colored sequences and we're going to put some on our decorations I didn't like um, glitter I don't like glitter it just looks messy. I preferred the duck. What? Well, sorry, I preferred the duck. Of course, I preferred the duck. I prefer just sequins. What I don't. What I recommend is just watch it here while you're putting it together. Don't try not to let it get under there because it will get stuck. And you've already got that little ducky. Let me just bring that in, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. If my mouse wants to work with me, that would be nice. Okay, that looks about as close as I'm going to get it, I think. Yes, anyway, so I popped all my little um, sequences in. Uh, I've got silver and pink. Just pop them in, um, make sure they're sort of like within your window frame. But don't let them get under your little duck just yet. Because with the dimensional, it pops it up and then it can get stuck. And then once you put that on top, it kind of... Um, it gets a bit yucky because then they build up behind it and now you got to shake it they just won't move so when i can put them together i don't use that option so looking at it now the placement that i've got it it is good to probably use a grid pad if you've got one just to make sure you've got all your 
alignment because they're going to get okay don't worry about it being all the um, all the sequence being up there that's not important because they will shake down off your off your marks so um, off your uh, sentiment so don't worry too much about that we'll just take that off now for the double sided tape we'll remove the backing and just make sure my little ducky is all aligned and I think he is so before you put it down just do a double check because there's always always something isn't there okay there we go and just press it down nicely make sure it's all firm and there you have it and look it looks lovely at the back you can't tell isn't it cute oh, my little ducky look at that isn't that cute it is so sweet and it's such a nice size for little baby showers it doesn't have to be ginormous I think it's just too adorable. I think I like this one better than the dress. Oh dear. And I've just made 35 of the dress ones. <laughs> okay, maybe the next one will be a ducky one. For my, I've got another friend who's having a baby soon and she wants to make wait till they know the sex of her baby so that they can do the same thing. So, mm. okay, and then finally... I'm going to have another probably 35 to do, but I'll have to come up, if it's a boy, I'll have to come up with a completely new blue design. Maybe I'll do the blue ducky instead of the pink dress. But the pink dress, she is pretty. She's so cute. Okay, now the final thing that I did was put some, because we have got a shaker card, I put um, some rhinestones on my card. And I used, um, pretty sure I used the big ones. It doesn't matter either way i did try ribbon and to be honest i'm not really good at tying ribbon i'm really not good at it so you know i i did i try but you know it takes me a bit of practice so what i've done is just put a couple of little diamond uh, sorry rhinestones just down the bottom and it looks pretty and then i put a big one um, on the opposite side up the top just to balance it I did the same thing I put a big one and then the next size down I always go one big one small because I think it sort of like complements it a bit better and we go and that's it there we go oh. it turned out quite cute didn't it so I hope with all my fumbling around you will be able to manage to do this tutorial yourself it is cute it is easy and it's nice and clean and you can use it for just about anything it doesn't have to be a baby shower just change your sentiment around if you want to stamp on the window itself use your stays on ink you can put i tried the onesie the onesie is a bit bigger so maybe you can change the sizing but i tr initially when i was making the design i did go without the border the smaller square I just went with the big square in the designer series paper but I don't like it I really didn't like it I like the little border I think it kind of looks good and it complements it so um, all that being said and done I do hope you enjoyed the tutorial I do hope you give it a shot um, and I'd love to see some versions of, of this of options and stuff like that so um, thank you thanks for stopping by hit the like button please and do subscribe um, I've got a Facebook page which is Stamp It Yourself. I've got um, my YouTube channel which is Stamp It Yourself and I've got my blog which is stampityourself.com and thank you for joining me and take care and hopefully I'll be back with a new tutorial, something exciting that's for sure. Take care, see you soon. Thank you.